this tutorial, we're going to be discussing the Bass Relief Tools in Pattern Sculptor. These are a set of tools that allow you to enhance the relief contrast in, in patterns that you're making, uh, whether you've imported them in from STL uh, or OBJ files, or if it's a pattern you've scanned and, and are working on. Uh, let's start off by loading in pattern. This is an STL file that was just downloaded from the internet for free. And it's this really intricate castle. So the first thing we're going to do is just kind of orient this into uh, an angle that, that we want. Let's get like the front of the castle here. And then let's size this to where it's a reasonable size. My general rule of thumb when sizing my models for making into patterns is uh, I try to keep everything kind of within a 12 inch range. Uh, that's usually more than enough resolution for any carving you're ever going to need and it's not too big a model that's going to take forever to render. So let's just make that 12 inches and accept it. Okay, now we got this model in here and it's made it into a relief, but it's really uh, quite high relief. It's filled in all of this background information. So the first thing we're going to do is lower this. So then we're going to, to adjust the uh, Z scale down now as well and about 0.1 is usually a good depth level for most patterns for carving. So when we do that, we've really kind of flattened out all the details in this and of course we could take this and, and carve it but the details are so shallow that it's, it's probably not going to turn out as nicely as we would like it to. So this is where the bass relief comes in let's turn that on and then let's use these adjustments to enhance the relief. So the grid size is actually going to be kind of the resolution of, of the relief enhancement you're doing. It's actually going to overlay a grid on there and then uh, it's going to enhance things within that. The smoothness actually creates smooth transitions between the contrast because the contrast can get rather aggressive. So let's go ahead and hit update and you can see what it does and then we'll make adjustments from there. Okay, so right off we can see it's incredibly enhanced now. So we actually kind of get the roundness of these turrets in here, the details and these architectural elements really starting to pop. But you can kind of see that grid, you see these lines going through there. And, uh, and how the grid is affecting the overall design. You get some, a little bit of anomalies. So we can increase that grid size and we can actually increase the smoothing a little bit to help blend some of those types of features. And then we'll hit update again and see what happens. Now, the more you increase smoothness and grid size, but mostly smoothness, will increase the render time on your model. So, the higher the smoothness you get, be prepared to uh, wait a little bit while your, your pattern renders. Okay, that's about done. Alright, so we still have some anomalies in here that we need to smooth out, but the contrast looks really good. So let's just increase our smoothness a little bit more and hit update again. Okay, that's getting a lot smoother. And we can actually toggle the on off here so we can see where we started from and then see what we're looking at now. And of course rotate around and kind of see how everything's shaping up here. But that's, that's starting to really look good. Lots of detail in this shallow pattern now. So you can uh, endlessly adjust, but 
the point is is to get to a point where you've got a, a good carvable uh, contrasted pattern that's going to serve your purposes. So once you've got it to a point where you are satisfied with the detail of the model, just hit accept. It moves you to the next window where you've got all of your editing tools. So if you want to do any smoothing or further editing, if you've got some artifacts in there that you want to remove, any lines that you don't like, you can further smooth from there and then export back out as a STL, OBJ, or pattern file to open it in your Carvart Design software. Okay, let's open up another model. Uh, this one is of a face, and this is from uh, a bust of Napoleon, actually, kind of, looks like he's being represented as a Roman emperor almost. But uh, faces are, have always been tricky uh, when making into trying to make into relief. So we need to lower this down so it's lower until yep, don't want to lose the ear, so it's back off that. Okay. And then we lower the Z scale here to get it to a, a nice carbon depth. It gets really shallowed out because there's so much detail in here that's just kind of disappearing. So faces are one that really benefit from having relief enhancement. And some of them can be really tricky to do so. So uh, let's go ahead and work on this one. And let's go ahead and start with everything kind of low and see where we end up. So let's update that. And that should render pretty fast since all the settings are pretty low. Okay. All right. Uh, it definitely enhanced, but I think uh, it's gone a little too far. It's like it's raised up the lips and flattened them out a little bit. So definitely need some more smoothing on that. So let's raise that up and see what we get from there. Okay. Now that looks pretty good. We toggle back to where we were, where we are now. Definitely have popped out those details quite a bit more. And we can adjust that smoothing even more to keep it from flattening out or uh, like the lips and, and pushing out some of those details too much. But for the most part, I think that's going to be a pretty workable file. We go ahead and render this one more time with the smoothness turned all the way up and I think we should have it. Yep, I think that's going to be perfect. So now we been able to enhance those relief features without distorting things and this pattern should be ready to take into designer and carve out. Okay one more pattern here just to show you the variety of things we can do. Go ahead and close Sculptor and open up our Designer 3. Okay, and with Designer 3 open and a board there, we can open up our pattern library and let's take a scanned pattern here that we have. And that opens up here in Sculptor. All right, so this was a, a fairly small element that was scanned with the scanning probe and it's got uh, pretty shallow features on it. It's this little pine cone or pineapple type of shape. So uh, this one doesn't really need to be lowered at all, but it could definitely benefit from some relief enhancement. So let's let's turn up the contrast on this and uh, add some more smoothing to it and see what this does. Okay. So that popped out the details quite a bit more. So even on simple little patterns that you want to try to bring out more detail on uh, without increasing the height of the pattern, this can be a really useful tool for that. So that is our bass relief or ball relief tools in uh, the latest version of Pattern Sculpting. I hope you enjoyed.